line, Ty Fair drops it off, got it back at the right circle, fed it in front, and the one-timer is just wide, as Free was wide Fair. open. Puts it middle, Free is open, he's run over on a clean hit by Jackson Roland, who caught up. And allowed Roland to carry in right wing for Okotoks, dropped off here is Fetchner, left circle, fed it across, that's picked off in the slot by the Bandits, lone defender back, and they will put it out to the red line for the carry in by Free, left side, he is back, body dropped by Ryder Denies, who caught Free's stick up in his face, and down behind the Okotoks net. Doug free by Peluso at the left corner. Fed back door! Sprawling Kingo kicked it out, and it rolls in behind the net. But his only battling for that after he was barely denied on a chance at the right side of the Okotoks net on a puck that came right through the blue paint after that board battle win by Brooks. Another chance from the left point here for the Bandits. They drop it off. And Bayer cuts down the left wall to the corner. Shoots it off a stick, rebound, scores! Again they win a battle at the net front. Budazoni unmarked and able to backhand that one into the Okotoks cage. And Brooks out in front early. Ross McGuire got in the way and now Tapper chips it to neutral. He's got a two on one, got it left side. Duel is into the attacking zone, across Tapper! Robbed by Scopa on a diving save and he holds on for a whistle stopping play. Great opportunity for Okotoks there. Duel with the saucer pass across from the left circle. He found Tapper who tried to lift it over Scopa, but while neutral, this could be another two on one. Huck carries in with McNeil. Huck to the right circle, shoots it. And it's blocked on the way through. Oh. Near side, he's gonna cut to the high slot on his backhand. Drop it off there, Luke Marshall. Stutter steps and fires! Save Kingo, rebound! Is chopped over the net by Peluso. Silverberg couldn't quite get to it, but a poke check by Fetchner. He takes it away, gets demolished on a high hit by Huey Hooker and gets sent flying into the near wall. McGuire to carry into the Oilers zone. He's down to the left corner, centers, tipped on goal, save, rebound, poked out of the slot by Kingo. Is in the Brook zone at the left half wall. There's a hard hit thrown by Kate Duell as he ran over Ty So far he scored the first goal for Okotoks in Black Falls in that opening game, but he deserves a lot more. Quinn McCall from the right circle, try to feed it back door, that's off a stick and deflects in. Ay ay ay. McCall off a set play off the face off, tried to feed it to the back door Gets from the right. neutral, could be a two on one. Right side carry in by McNeil to the circle, he'll feed it across, and the Oilers can't get a shot through. And Tapper had a stick on it, spun away from pressure, put it in front, and it just hopped over, denies his stick, who had position at the net front. Then a shot from the left point by Spack, bounced off a of body and wide. McCall then puts it over the glass. Officials didn't blow the whistle, so Spack takes it away, shoots right off, rebound, scores! The puck went out of play, and then the Oilers score nonetheless, as Spack shot from the circle, got his own rebound, and backhanded it home. So it's either 2-1 or it's going to be heartbreak here for Okotoks. You got to play to the whist. And here is McKinnis back in his own zone for Brooks. Fed went up the middle and a breakaway chance now to the right circle. Shot by Free. He scores. And that's the response Brooks wanted to see there. Stretch pass up the middle. No one can pick up Nathan Free. By goaltender Kingo, it produced a big rebound, but that puck rolled all the way out to the neutral zone, and the Bandits recollect. Oilers were trying to hurry a change, so now they'll give up a three on two, and it'll be Budazoni cutting down to the left corner with it. Sharp angle shot, scores. From the corner, he scores. And Brooks takes a 4-1 lead. Near wall, get it out to neutral. Here comes Dean Spack, right wing side. Pass across, is for Tapper. Put it back door, looking for Duel, but he just got tangled up with a defender on goal. And now McNeil carries in right side, cuts to the high slot, puts it left circle, McGuire put it back door! And Wilson somehow fans on the bouncing. Oh, guys. Hall trying to glove this down at the red line now after the Bandits cleared it. And now it'll be carried in left wing by Sachi. He's into the left circle, wide open, shoots and scores. Low glove side, wide open was Brock Such, and he puts another one into the back of the Okotoks cage and the order carry it. It's, it's not that high quality of a chance. He's just barely inside. The left wing face-off circle is now Tapper carries in right wing to the circle. He shoots, he scores! And they play the goal horn for him. Love it. Let's all celebrate a nice five-hole snipe by Jagger Tapper to get the orders back on the board with a minute 13 to go in the second period. A quick low wrister there by number 17. Early gotten off a stick to neutral. It'll be chased down by Kate Duell. Carries it right wing. Fights Tapper in front! And he can't get a clean shot away as he He's tried to blue. And he'll gather speed through the center ice logo. And then he'll barrel in down the middle. Silverberg shoots! And a low save by Scopa. Silverberg. And Roland is away. Up the middle. Put it right side for Silverberg to carry in. Drop back. Fetchner in the slot. Tried to feed it to the side of the net. And a sliding Brooks defender gets in the way. Uh, there's another high stick on a bandit but no penalty this time 
They take it away, though. Center it to the slot, and a shot saved by Kingo. Great job to Rob Liam Fitzpatrick. And poking one out to the red line. He'll chase it down along the right side. Carries into the O-zone, kicks it to his stick, and shoots, and a great save by Scope with a rebound for Sherpa. Denied as well as that deflects up and out of play. It was McNeil, by the way, not Sherpa. How the heck do I get those guys mixed up? I'm having a rough one, folks, at that far side. Tapper got a stick in the way, and the order forecheck has been miles better in this game than we saw in the last couple. Here's another example as Brown takes it away, marches to the right side of the net, and he rings it off the iron. Like I said, forecheck has been really good. Nine shots, 21 shots the game before that, but then 51 shots against in that school day game. Side of the net shot, saved by Kingo. It's caught on his pad, and he couldn't find it. Still loose and poked away to the near side. Touched the whole way. Now Lalonde weaving up to the high slot. Also untouched. To the left side and the circle and the corner. Put it back door. O'Halloran got a skate in the way as Davidson was sneaking in from the blue line as the Oilers were puck watching again. And now Wilson digs one free in the O-zone on the forecheck. Pokes it on goal. He scores! No signal from the referee, but Brett Wilson poke checked that one into the back of the cage as he chased it down on the forecheck. And the Oilers should have made this a two-goal deficit. But the referee's talking to the goal judge for some reason. Just chases it down and slides it by him. And it is a good goal for Brett Wilson. I mean, they saw it scrambled, and the Bandits chase it down. Chip to the opposing blue, and Huck trying to win a race to chop it back to neutral. It's taken away, and Lalonde in on the empty net. He scores. That was quick, and with a minute 54 to go in the third period, Brooks puts it to bed. Put it up to Hall, left point. Then right side, Turner back to Hall. Knifed it to the right circle. Kate Turner put it across. Duel shoots, and he missed the net. It's out of the reach of Lalonde, or rather Fitzpatrick. Either way, the buzzer will go, and this one will come to an end as the Oilers fall for the third consecutive game. Once again, they allow a big number into their net. The offense... One of their better efforts.